Coming up right now on Eyewitness News, a jury on the edge at the O.J. Simpson trial. Transcripts just released today show how bad things might be. We're live in Los Angeles. Also, a grotesque delivery in the mail, the horrifying package, and who was targeted to receive it. A crackdown in New Jersey, why police are forcing mountain bikers to put on the brakes. And a new study that suggests everything we've learned about the health benefits of eating fish may not be true. Nicolas Cage is showing his darker side, his new movie, and what he thinks about playing a villain. Also, never before seen footage of the Beatles. And a breezy AccuWeather forecast right now on Eyewitness News. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Greg Hurst, Roz Abrams, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Roz Abrams. Today, the most explosive comments in the O.J. Simpson case came from behind closed doors in the transcript of Judge Lance Ito's interview with former jury member Janet Harris. Judge Ito conducted the interview in the wake of Harris's public claims of jury misconduct. Harris told Ito there was racial tension, that white and black jurors had separate rooms to watch movies and used separate gyms. And Ito said he will speak to every juror about their behavior. Jada Dapper is live in Los Angeles with developments. Jay. Well, Roz, each time that Jeanette Harris is interviewed, new details emerge to illustrate her claims that this jury is racially divided. Late yesterday afternoon, she told Judge Ito of a situation that amounts to racial apartheid. Bike riders are out of luck in New Jersey. Up next, a tough new crackdown. Mountain bikers have to put on the brakes and stay out of certain areas. Plus, riders at risk. A frightening new report about subway doors and what you need to watch out for. Also, Nicolas Cage changes his image. He tells us what it's like to play the bad guy. A little bit later on Eyewitness News. He served his time, but authorities won't let him out. How Megan's Law could be the key that keeps one sex offender locked up here. Plus, do these cards really possess evil power? Why some parents don't want them in their children's hands. At 6 on Eyewitness News, for the news comes first, right here on Channel 7.